My next journey was to visit the local orphanages that are available to support the street children. The first one I went to was called Daughters of Charity. Daughters of Charity is a Catholic institution established almost two decades ago to look after poor and vulnerable children. Most of the support comes from Europe. Nugu tells me that they support children from the age of 12 to 18 years old. Most of the kids at the institution were street children, with some full and half orphans who were under difficult situations. <laughs> Zanaba, a 16-year-old boy who was a former street child, he tells me his life on the streets was very rough. Big kids used to beat him up, asking him to get them money. He used to get sick from the cold weather, as well as the partially eaten food he ate, which was leftover food from the local restaurant. He tells me he is very happy because Daros of Charity is fulfilling his needs, especially with his education. My next journey was to an institution called Operation Rescue of Ethiopia. It is a private NGO founded by two missionary couples from Brazil and Switzerland in 2001 to help children from infancy to the age of 12. Getacho tells me Operation Rescue was established for the purpose of helping needy children such as street children and orphan children whose parents have died from war and HIV AIDS and also children who have extremely poor families are supported as well. Next, I went to a private orphanage called Human Beings Association of Brotherhood. Atto Fukra Asefa established the orphanage in 2002 with his own pocket money and with little help of his friends. He started his orphanage with five street children, but now it has grown to 70 children. I asked him why he decided to help the street children. He said he wants to give a chance to the street children at least to go to school. The orphanage supports the street children full and half orphans and also children who have extremely poor families with almost no income. Education is a priority and the children are encouraged to do well academically, but for those who are poor academically, they are offered the chance to go to a vocational training school. <laughs> Isana is a 15-year-old girl who had lost both her parents when she was really young. She used to live with and work for a lady in order to afford to go to school, but she felt oppressed most of the time. She didn't have a voice at the house. She missed classes because she had to do too much domestic work. Also, the lady she was staying with had big boys and sometimes they sexually assaulted her. Because Itzana was a recognized student, her teachers asked her why she was missing classes. Then when she shared her story with them, they were able to help her and put her in Fikra's orphanage so she could focus on her school. She is happy now. She feels free and her advice for girls who are going through what she went through is to speak up. Last but not least, I went to a daycare called Human to Human Aid Program. A man named Teros Asalu founded the daycare in 2004 with his own money and with little help of his friends. Teros felt it was unfair for the street children to suffer on the streets and to be abandoned by a society. He had a vision to lift up street children and send them back to school and also to reunite some of them with their families. <laughs> The program suffers from lack of funds, so Teros had decided to keep his program as a temporary safe haven for the street children until they become independent.
What do you think the solution is? For solution is the economy must grow. The government must have appropriate strategy to help the poorest of the poor, the children. It has to mobilize resource uh, from the public. The public must support children. And the international community must also give attention to this. Thank you.